Hi, uh, I'm Roberta, and uh, I will uh, quickly introduce myself. So I work for a company, a uh, local public administration-owned company named uh, 5T, and uh, we provide the services, consultancy, and we develop a project for mobility. And our business sector are uh, traffic, public transport, infomobility, and ticketing. Um, the project I will talk about was uh, done jointly with uh, uh, a non-profit association named Ithaca, that is uh, ba based in uh, Turin, that is a center of research and uh, devoted to support humanitarian activities in response to natural disaster and uh, using a remote sensing technique. So I will talk about a city named Yangon, that is one of the main Myanmar city. It was the capital of the country until 2005 and has more than 5 million inhabitants. And is still growing because there is a lot of migration from a rural area. So in this city, when we started the project, um, we found uh, uh, this situation. Uh, the number of private cars was doubled uh, in a very few years, between uh, 2011 to 2015. And uh, uh, as a consequence, the, the mean speed dropped and, uh, from 30 km per hour to 10 or 15. Uh, this is caused uh, by a uh, reduction on an existing limitation that was uh, um, actual until uh, 2012 uh, because there were limitations on the import of car. Um, in the same time, uh, with the growing number of uh, private car, the number of public transport users uh, dropped down and uh, decreased uh, at a rate of uh, about uh, 10% uh, uh, per year. And uh, this is caused uh, also because the service is uh, very bad, at a very bad quality. And uh, so uh, users prefer take their car uh, and not use the public transport. To um, change this situation, the Yangon municipality uh, has the target to uh, renew their public transport network and uh, to do some traffic engineering. But in the area, uh, because it's very fast, uh, fastly growing, um, many big companies from other countries are interested in, uh, because there are very much business opportunity, a lot. Uh, for example, uh, uh, the advertisement for new bus stop, and uh, a new traffic control room, and uh, a new city master plan. Uh, I've mentioned public transport. Um, there, are, there were some issues on these uh, public transport services. For example, the service very low because uh, there were irregular timetables. Uh, and then the safety level is very low, it was dangerous. And there were limitations the, on the entry of new players because there were regulations that were favorite, favorite only for the existing player. And, uh, avoid uh, the insertion of a new player. Um, to change the situation, there, um, there are uh, three solutions. So uh, better manage operator, uh, establish regular stops, and uh, rationalize uh, route. In this bar chart, uh, you can see how change the situation in, uh, in 10 years, because in uh, 2004, there were about uh, uh, 1,000 million passengers per year. And uh, 10 years later, in 2014, there were about the health, about 500% uh, million people. Um, so to, to change the situation was established the Sun project. Uh, this project was funded under the Europaid European program and uh, was uh, started in 2014 and uh, ended in the first half of 2017. Uh, partner of this project were the municipality of Turing and uh, 5T as a subcontractor. 
the municipality of Yangon, Itaca, and Chesby. Uh, the target of this project was to uh, reinforce the skill of the public administration on the uh, urban mobility planning and uh, to allow a sustainable urban environment. Uh, the project uh, works on three levels, as institutional, technological, and educational. But how uh, is the SUMP project related to OpenStreetMap? So I said that uh, Yangon was uh, changing uh, quickly, and uh, because of, the, of this uh, uh, changing, there, are, there were no maps with uh, all the information updated. Uh, so, we as uh, 5T and Itaca suggest the administration to use uh, OpenStreetMap because uh, in Turing we already use OpenStreetMap. Uh, we haven't found uh, any problems for our uh, necessity. Uh, so, we suggest to do a survey activity on uh, bus route and stops and then to upload all the data, correct data, on uh, OpenStreetMap. So um, we, do, we did a training um, with the four step. The first uh, phase was uh, an analysis of the existing public transport schema. Um, in Yangon, there were uh, three modes of transport, bus, uh, railway, and uh, um, water bus that is uh, like a ferry. Uh, so we choose uh, which tag to use, and um, then we taught them how to uh, use OpenStreetMap because uh, none of them has uh, had ever mapped before, uh, and so we have to teach them. Uh, uh, so this is a stop; it's uh, like a point. You have to call highway equal bus stop, and uh, the difficult thing was to. Um, show how is uh, a relation, because uh, uh, usually uh, newbie uh, map previously point or line, but a relation is not so easy to, to learn if you haven't mapped before. Um, so after they upload uh, all the data into OpenStreetMap, and then uh, uh, we did some uh, uh, check and validation phase So we use uh, JOSMA editor because uh, for uh, root relation is very useful and it's uh, easy to manage a relation and to check if it is okay, if there are all stops. Um, to check if it all was okay, we, uh, we use the OSMA user history because we know the username of mapper. There were about four or five mapper and uh, so we can see the change set they, they have did done. Uh, then always to, as verification tool, we use uh, overpass to count uh, how many relations they had uploaded. And uh, then the OSMA relation analyzer, because it's always uh, useful to see the correctness of the relation. Okay, so the survey phase starts in the second part of uh, 2016. So you can see the first picture that is uh, almost empty. Um, then the second one is that at the end of the project, uh, there are uh, much more data, uh, but it passed almost a year. And uh, uh, this is because uh, during the project, there was a change in the political scenario. So with the project, we have to slow down activities in order to uh, wait the a stable situation. But um, why we uh, suggest to upload all data into OpenStreetMap? Because uh, our idea was to build uh, from OpenStreetMap a GTFS. Uh, how many of you use or know what is a GTFS? Okay, so I can explain uh, what is is a um, standard we say uh, that uh, it's uh, used to describe 
a public transport service. Um, it is a zip file that contains uh, some text file, each one related to a specific topic. For example, there is one uh, on agency and contain the name of the agency, the contact name, uh, the address, the language, uh, other for route, where there are a list of routes, uh, stops, uh, calendar, that means uh, when operates the service, for example, from July to December, uh, the shape, which is the route track, and uh, the timetable. So we identify a procedure to create uh, a GTFS starting from OpenStreetMap. Uh, you can see a small diagram that uh, shows it. So we download uh, root and stop data as uh, JSON and uh, GPX. Then we run a PHP script that uh, transforms this data into a text file uh, useful for GTFS. And at this point, we can upload the, this uh, partial GTFS into a GTFS editor. And then we can add the missing data, and the file is complete. Um, we use uh, Overpass and uh, Quick Osma to extract data from OpenStreetMap because uh, um, we were able to do query, but uh, our friend in Yangon were not able, so they must to be able to use this tool again. So uh, Overpass is a wizard tool that is very useful, also for people that don't uh, code or can use database, so it's uh, usable, easy usable by everyone. Okay. Um, we can see the two sources to uh, do this GTFS uh, because um, stops comes from OpenStreetMap, uh, root comes from OpenStreetMap, uh, the geometry from the relation. And uh, if uh, the relation is uh, well described, we can extract information on the root. Uh, for example, the name, the code, a color, if, if it is, and uh, the agency. That's the operator tag. Um, information that are missing all are um, related to time, because in OpenStreetMap we can store this kind of information. Uh, so uh, we customize a tool that we named the Transit Cafe that is uh, uh, based on a Conveyal project that is named the GTFS Editor. Uh, I think now it's called the GTFS lib. And uh, with this tool, uh, we add missing data as a calendar and timetable or frequency. Um, this was uh, one of the difficult parts because uh, uh, in Yangon, bus didn't have a timetable or a frequency. So it's a problem to build a GTFS. Uh, so we uh, decide and uh, uh, estimated a um, frequency, uh, suitable frequency, and then we did this GTFS. So we were able, after the survey activity and the upload activity, to create a free GTFS, one for every uh, transport mode, uh, a big one for bus network, with uh, 83 routes, uh, one for train network, and the one for water bus. Uh, we provide this uh, feed to the uh, local government, so they can use it to enable cit um, services for citizens. Um, for example, at the end of the Sumpa project, uh, there was uh, an a mobile application that uh, now everyone can download and uh, the citizen can uh, plan a trip in Yangon and uh, it's very useful for them and now the local technicians are able to uh, edit uh, OpenStreetMap data and to process uh, OpenStreetMap to build a GTFS and to update their data and uh, 
we hope these three fields are uh, publicly av available in order to uh, build a new application to, uh, from Citizen. And uh, after the project completion, we did some check on OpenStreetMap to see if the situation was changed. And uh, we saw that uh, uh, Yangon technicians have had uh, a lot of data uh, because uh, obviously the, the network is changed a lot. And uh, they have uh, continued to upload the data into the OpenStreetMap database. So now they are uh, autonomous to edit and to create uh, their data for the citizen. And uh, thank you for your attention. So, thank you, Roberto. If uh, someone has some questions, yeah, sure. Hi, I'm curious, like on one of your slides towards the end, you mentioned that after all this work, there's a consumer application, mm -hmm. like I think my Mobi app or something, that, you know, could you share a little, like, is this something that the government built? Is this something you guys built for Yangon? Uh, um, this app was uh, part of the project, so now it's available to the, to the city. Um, I know that there are also other applications available so people can download what they prefer. Uh, we, uh, we focused on the GTFS creation because uh, in our opinion was more important because uh, it enables other services also mm -hmm. from uh, independent developer and so on. Hello, I'm very interested to your top about your topic. Uh, just to clarify, you you map roads, right? Sorry. You map road networks. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Road network was yeah. was already in OSM. Okay. So so do you take into account the type of roads, like if it's uh, concrete, or is it under construction? Um, sorry, didn't answer. No, you don't. You don't. No. Do you take into account the type of the road? Mm -hmm. If the road, either if it's uh, concrete or not, or if it's under construction uh, going uh, on in the road? We didn't focus on this side because uh, we haven't much time for the project uh, because uh, initially uh, the focus was on public transport. So we have only a few months to do all this stuff. So we have to choose uh, what to upload and what not, but um, I know that uh, Yangon technicians are still working on it, so I hope they add also road network and still all changes in the city. Thank you. Okay, if you are no more questions, thanks, Roberto. <laughs>